Hey guys, so I don't know if you ever saw the news about um, a lot of acres in Boise that got caught on fire. Um, it was about 2,400 acres and it burned down a couple houses and it was pretty crazy. It was caused by a firework. Um, I'll just show you a little bit of the news from it. structures destroyed, including that home, and thousands of acres of the foothills blackened. Firefighters say it's now 60% contained, but it's already burned 2,400 acres. Last night's Table Rock fire scorched the Boise landmark and came dangerously close to causing even more destruction. We have team coverage tonight on what's next as crews mop up this place. We start with your... Okay, so anyways, it's been about three months, and... It's one of the most famous um, hiking trail areas. It is by the Boise State Old Penitentiary House um, and it overlooks a beautiful view. It has a cross. Anyway, so my family and I are going to go hiking there because now it's finally cleared and people can go hiking there. And so we are gonna go check out the aftermath if you wanna come with us. You see the prison? <laughs> Looks like somebody tried to make their own trail. In recent news, they found out that the guy that called um, and reported the fire, he said, you know, that some kids shot off a firework and he saw it go up and right away he called and reported the fire. Um, so he was kind of like the hero or whatever. Well, it turns out he was actually the one that shot off the firework. So he lied and everything. Um, so they ended up finding that out. Um, it was great going hiking with my family and seeing all the new vegetation coming up. So by next spring, it should be beautiful again. Um, it was still beautiful, still nice hike, um, good exercise, of course. Um, but as you could see in the video, there was a lot of darkened areas from all the burned spots. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.